with diesel power. Right, it's tea time, and we're like three weeks to get away from Drift Games, the new replacement for IDC. Um, the car needs a bit of a freshen up after last season. Uh, it's it's a little bit shook, uh, but it's getting ready for paint again. AD has come down for the weekend to give me a hand, and uh, he was slaving here last night when I was in bed. <laughs> Leaving a tick. <laughs> but, o'clock in the morning. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fair play to him. Thank, uh, yeah, fair play to him for coming down and uh, giving me a hand, giving me a dig out. Because I'm only after getting the workshop back. It was complete chaos in here for the last couple of months with machinery and stuff being um, <laughs> refurbished, and ready for this season again. So um, we're yeah, back to drifting. <laughs> you know, so. Definitely looking forward to this season. I'll uh, hang on and I'll flip the camera around. Right. So, the car is getting prepped. I suppose the biggest problem for me last year was um, it was starting to get scruffy around the edges, around here, um, in, the, in the arches, they're, they're steel. So this year we've uh, stone chipped them and primed them up again, basically took all the rust out of it and getting it prepped again for paint. And uh, hopefully it's going to be painted. We're going to paint the chassis tonight and uh, get it done. The little bit of damage is kind of, um, I wouldn't say fixed, but it's like, <laughs> nope, definitely. you know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's improved a bit. And the light fits and everything is good, but it's a drift car. So it's going to get smack. It's going to get smack again. So we'll, uh, we'll just leave it that way. But uh, trying to prevent... The stone chips basically from destroying the car again and that's the whole idea this one is stone chipped as well stone chipped all along where basically the stones were really getting at it we're going to do a little bit on the roll cage as well and uh, we're going to try and get that painted tonight the roof my just my lovely roof um i want to talk about this on how it happened there either. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, what a quarter to eleven at night. Nah, it's clear not now. Eh? Is it? Oh, I, I think have it is. no I idea what time those comes up the other time. Yeah, you can see the the shape of the mass on us both, and <laughs> yeah, they go faster straight up the side of the face. <laughs> but honestly, it is paint. If anybody else is definitely paint. It's it's shiny. <laughs> shiny is class. I love it. It's back to the way it was when it. Uh, when I finished it first. And, uh, nice and tidy. I love it. Success. Absolute success. Only one problem. You forgot the dress of Paul's. I ever. If there's anybody else that thinks it's a good idea to build a drift car, send it this way. Yeah, this is what AD does, like, all day, every day. Yeah. I don't. This is just one and done for me. <laughs> and uh, it's like one in four years I've had to paint the car. And, you know, <laughs> fair play to AD for coming down and giving me a hand, because uh, I was uh, screwed otherwise. A um, little bit of complication down here, but, ah, oh, fuck it. Um, no, fair play, fair play to AD for giving me a dig out, and he is the man, holy shit, he is able to spray, and you'll see that. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for not being a painter, it's what he called, it's, um, it's, it's, it wouldn't be my favourite thing at all, so it's not, but uh, <laughs> I think I prefer to, to take a, a roll cage or a reshell every day of the week than sit and panic over getting the perfect line on a bonnet. So, the... Um, like, I, I'm moody as fuck, so I wanted to do the final layer, but, you know, he was... No, no, no. <laughs> the second yeah, layer yeah, was as I good. Was, <laughs> the, what, the, the truth of it is, was that we are running out of paint. Yeah. That's what we were. And I decided that I didn't want the responsibility of running out of paint with half a panel still to go, so left it to him. 
Anyways, it's done. It's class. And now I have to go and finish the, the rest of the bits, bumpers, blah, blah, blah. And then plumbed in fire extinguisher, which is one of the new regulations for this year. And I have some other mechanical bits that I'll go through and uh, show you what I have to fix for this year, basically. And the plans for later on in the year, which are slightly delayed because I couldn't find a turbo. Found it. I'll show you that. I'll go through it later on. And it's, it's big. It's, it's a big. monster. It's <laughs> absolutely I mean, it's like cut a hole in the chassis leg to fill it in, monster. Kinda. No, it's it, huge. I've tested it, and we'll put it this way: it's going to be cozy, cozy. Um, might need a gentle persuasion to get it in, but I'm probably an extra couple of cylinders, maybe to run it. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. The best I think I'll ever be yet. Like, anyways, that is to come later on in the summer. Um, I have my spare engine. And that is going to be basically my test bed to get that set up. And then we'll try and test fit it to the drift car later on in the year. Um, because the workshop has been out of action for pretty much a couple of months now. So, um, anyways, for us, for now, AD has to go and drive to Belfast yet tonight. Uh, another, another two and a half of the hours in front And of like, I'm in Galway, he's in Belfast. So, yeah. Yeah, I've got to the hours here. Anyways, job done. Right, first run done, and uh, I may have left a map on that I shouldn't have from Stiv's Dino the last time we were out, and uh, I have to go back basically to the way it was last year. Uh, whoops. <laughs> um, it, I was wondering why it was kind of uh, limiting out very early, and like we started dumping in fuel just to see what had happened on the Dino, and uh, yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, so back to the way it was. Uh, I have the, the the laptop here in front of me. Uh, if you can see it, and I'll just throw it back, back on the old map. 80 is... 80 is there changing tires. Oh. 80! <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just need to switch the ignition the off. Switch. What? Put the brakes. The brakes, okay, okay, okay. He's, he's very demanding, so he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, switch key on to continue. Boom, right, so that's that. And I think I'm done. Right, let's go and try this. And close that laptop down. Boom, boom, boom. Put down. And back drifting! Let's go! Sander, Sander. <laughs> is done I think I think I might be okay um I think I have this track absolutely fucking dialed in nailing it the car is absolutely on point and uh, the changes that we made and uh, the last couple of weeks seem to have really like sorted out all my little gremlins including the isolator which was causing problems um yeah, I mean like the isolator boom just cut out the car every now and then and it was a bit finickety so there's a brand new quality one gone in cheap shit just don't buy it i made my mistake once never again what else have we got this year we have hands devices which are like little tethers yeah uh, where are they somewhere here yeah there you go hands devices like formula one drivers blah 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 and more importantly i don't know Oh, hang on <laughs> Ginger helmet. <laughs> this I absolutely adore. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I decided to embrace the ginger, you know, because... Um, right, let me show you the changes that I've made inside in the car. What I have here is the fuel tank into a, the original BMW fuel pump. It fills the swirl pot. The swirl pot outlet goes into my um, 7530 John Deere pump and 
that goes down into the car. The return goes back into my swirl pot and there's a the return into the main tank. And then this one is actually for filling the tank. If I lift the lid off, put a pipe on here, it fills. It's just me being incredibly lazy and that's how I fill my tank. Uh, let me show you the rest of it. Plumbed in fire extinguisher is the next one. Uh, four liter minimum capacity and so on. And there is now like pipes and hoses going everywhere, including one in over the top of the tank, three in the engine bay, two in the driver's foot well, just to guide, kind of spray down on top of me in case I went on fire because I'm that awesome. And the pit crew. Hey, <laughs> sir. Amy, cheap bullshitter. <laughs> Mister. Mister. Mr. Chief Bullshitter. Katie, everybody knows Katie, she's everywhere. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a lovely thing to Official titles, please. Yeah. Spotters, mechanics. Sp it's kind of like. Hospitality. <laughs> the hospitality, yeah, yeah. The hospitality here. Yeah. Spotters and mechanics, hospitality. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it's, it's kind of a mix of just keep this car going. Yeah. And uh, nail qualifying, that's the next Absolutely. plan. Um, so yep. yeah, full day yesterday. Don't win. Oh yeah, win obviously. The car is freshly painted thanks to Ad yeah. for giving me a hand with that, and uh, yeah, it's shiny. I like Probably shiny. It's as fast as my paint. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, race. Second, I launched it second, right? Second, fifth, knew there was something wrong, pulled it out, went for third, ended up in fifth again. Half around the corner, like, ah, this is seriously wrong here. Dropped her back to second, it's fine. Tried third, it's fine, that stage, fucked. Anyways, fair play to Harry Kerr, you know, he's a fucking serious pilot anyway. So, <laughs> disappointment, but that's drifted. <laughs> we'll get him next time. Yeah. Yeah, we got next time. The hospitality team are uh, a little bit disappointed. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, that's it for now. Go and load the car after we go and watch some drifting. And uh, yeah. back. Uh, next one is the Gala Hill Climb. Yeah. I think, possibly. Hopefully, I'm doing it. Um, yeah. Then after that, the actual drifting, the next drifting event is Watergrass Hill. Water grass hill. So uh, another track I've drifted before and uh, know it inside out. And I also should be awesome at that. Now that the car is absolutely on point, and you know that to me that's actually a win because of last year's Gremlin. So I am fucking delighted that that car is working now. So, anyways, that's it. <laughs> Harry Kerr was there. <laughs> uh, yeah. My lovely fresh paint work destroyed. Thanks, Harry. You're off at sound. And uh, then to just add insult to injury, I decided to have a bit of a a, a meeting with the uh, the tire bales. I, I don't think that will polish out too well. But. I'll, I'll fix it. 
Ruined! My paintwork is ruined! <laughs> With diesel power!